Well, check out this amazing sight. This video from the Hurricane Hunters out of Biloxi, out on a training flight last night, catching an incredible sunset from above. Beautiful. Now, here's the hunters hard at work earlier this week. This airman is deploying a temperature probe as part of a training exercise. Wow. For a closer look at what those probes actually do, let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals. Alan? And that one was actually a little bigger than the one I show you, which measures temperature, pressure, humidity, and things in the air. That one is called an expendable bathothermograph. Bathothermograph. It's an instrument they drop from the airplane. It goes into the ocean. It is expendable. They don't get it back. But what it does is mainly it measures water temperature, but not just water temperature at the surface of the ocean, water temperature going down for of dozens and dozens of meters or yards, either way you're going to look at it. And on the way down, it also checks the salinity and the ocean current. So it's used more for research than anything else, but it lets us know what's going on beneath the water. And of course, that does help in hurricane season when we're trying to figure out how warm the ocean is. So here's what we typically look at when we talk about water temperature. These are the temperature readings for North America, our neighboring countries, our neighboring continents. And those water temperatures actually are detected by satellite. The same satellite that gives us the cloud images also has an infrared sensor that looks down on the earth and measures the temperature of both the earth and the water. So that's the difference between that instrument you just dropped. It's for that we just saw dropped. It's for what's beneath the surface of the water.